Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Meena Laghari. I'm author of two books. The first one was uh, my dissertation, my PhD dissertation, published to a book in India, uh, The Dynamics of Power Politics in South Punjab, that uh, I had uh, written uh, to actually focus on South Punjab and the issues of South Punjab, the place where I call home today. My second book was uh, about a journey to find home, the title, and it was published just recently uh, on Amazon America. And it is actually personal autobiography, uh, my, my own life journey. I was born in Kabul, Afghanistan, uh, traveled to many countries before we settled back. We settled in America, in San Francisco, California, until I uh, finished my uh, university. I was uh, a frequent visitor to Pakistan because of the family uh, uh, connection and also I worked for UN briefly in Pakistan. But uh, however, uh, I never thought that I would return back and call Pakistan my home. The day I graduated, I finished my master's from San Francisco State University. My husband proposed, Jafar Laghari, a prominent uh, po political figure of Pakistan, or rather belongs to a very prominent uh, political family of Pakistan and he, they are actually Baloch settlers in South Punjab. So when uh, I got married I moved back to Pakistan and ever since I call this beautiful country my home. But I was uh, of course originally born in Afghanistan, raised in America and now here this multi-culture has, uh, has given me a lot of, uh, a lot of understanding of uh, different societies, interaction with uh, uh, different level of life, people in, that has uh, made an impact on me, people that have uh, given me uh, uh, in, or introduced me to new cultures, new way of life. It's been uh, quite profound and I, I must say, the journey itself has so far been very interesting, never a dull moment, full of education and learning. It is not the degrees really I have ever focused on, though I'm blessed to be a doctor and a PhD doctor and have uh, the highest degree at this point. But I think my, my life learning has mainly has come from uh, my journey, my uh, visits to different countries, meeting different people, living in different parts of the world. Um, often I'm asked uh, that, where do you actually associate yourself with? When I go back to Afghanistan, which I used to tell uh, very recently, I used to feel right back at home. When I go to America, San Francisco, I feel quite blessed in such a beautiful uh, environment to be part of the, you know, part of that. And then when I come uh, back to Pakistan, I again, it's home for me. So really, the, the whole thing has actually taught me one thing, that human beings are very capable of adapting and very capable of learning and accepting. You know, we get set and we get hooked on one way of life. It's my culture, it's my identity, it's my ideology. But this entire journey of not just Mina, everyone, I think it's about learning. And you learn from everything. You don't have to be just in a confinement of a classroom or achieve degrees but uh, you just need to be open to life and to understand the dynamics of life in general so I think I've been very blessed with the exposure that I, my life has given me to be able to do that uh, with that I just hope uh, to that I continue to learn and to accept the tolerance that our, especially our religion focuses on, I think that has come from the diversity that life has given me. We, I've been through war, I've been um, through, uh, I've, we've been uh, refugees, the Afghan movement refugee was a, a devastating era for, I think, humanity. And then now the pandemic. So we've, I've, I think, I hope, <laughs> I've seen the worst, at least I hope. That part of life, I hope, uh, is going to stop now. I, but there's always hope. All of this, uh, even I remember when uh, well, uh, I left Afghanistan, I was nine years old uh, during the war, and we suffered uh, tremendously for the fact that I was leaving everybody behind, not knowing where I'm heading and where what life has for me. But there was hope.
there's, there was always this hope that, okay, if not here, there. I, mean, I remember when I reached America, it was very difficult to adjust from east all the way to the west. But luckily, somehow, uh, I, you know, being the human that we are, and it's not exceptional just uh, to me. I think uh, every human being has this ability. We just need to apply it. That um, next thing I know, America was my home. Then I came back to Pakistan at a very... Um, I would say uh, awkward age. I was only 26. I came, I adjusted, I adjusted again and I uh, went to the village. I lived in the village. And normally um, people would say, oh, from San Francisco to uh, Choti, Zareen, smaller, but I, I find it fascinating. Even today, my work, um, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I don't have a title of any sort of job, but I do work for my husband, field work, or uh, there's a lot of potential. You can do so much for your area. It's uh, absolutely non-ending. Uh, but, and I think we all have a role to play. The day you're born, you have a role to play. And you should, uh, you should enjoy that, work on that. As a human, you need to evolve. And you can evolve only if you allow yourself to be part of everything. I never, I never judged or I never actually complained that I'm in a village. Why am I here? Or I need to go back. I, need, I enjoyed it. If it, San Francisco had its own charm, Kabul had its own charm, but my Choti Zareen has its own charm. You know, I, I would actually uh, take my daughter. She was only six months old when I moved back to Choti, my village. I would backpack her and go explore the beautiful areas of my uh, village till today, which I enjoy. So as a result, it had actually given me a lot of people think I'm very popular amongst my people. But I think I was able to interact and break that barrier that uh, normally we keep between us and it's us and it's them. So that was broken and uh, I'm able to uh, go in my community with my people, sit comfortably and the comfort zone they are in uh, just being around me. So all of this has been an achievement for me, simply because that I loved where I lived. I didn't complain. Um, uh, yes, I didn't have the amenities of what uh, I had in America, but there is also always give and take the benefits, the pros and cons of living everywhere. So I think my life uh, is a message for myself. I hope actually pass this message to others as well. But all I, know, I, I, I would like to say is that just accept and be who you are and be open to life. Life has a lot. Maybe, maybe we don't, uh, uh, not always things go your way, but be grateful and work for it. Earn it uh, and uh, stay positive. Uh, because I think in this process, that's all what I've done. Yes, I've had my share of problems, uh, my share of issues, but nothing that one cannot get over, thank God. So I hope in this uh, journey, in my future also, I'm able to, uh, to actually participate in this beautiful world. Today, the demand is uh, environmental uh, concerns. We have so much that we can do as individuals. One other thing that everybody used to say, oh, what difference can you make? You see, in South Punjab, women are a bit, uh, um, I would not say backward. I hate that word when it's used for my area. They're not backward. They're just in a different environment and a different social culture. And if I can set an example, a healthy, a positive example for them, I think I've done my duty. And that I've seen the change. I, I uh, work uh, in the fields um, uh, with the, uh, my husband's politics, but I am also, uh, I do agriculture. I've never had an issue with any male uh, uh, figure in that area. So I don't know how can anyone say we are backward. We are not backward. We're just deprived of certain uh, opportunities. Uh, maybe uh, we can improve our education system, you know, our health system, our entire, you know, uh, there are other things, a uh, contribution of all of us. So I, um, I, I know I have been asked many times that you single-handedly, what difference can you make? Well, I believe every individual single-handedly can make a difference because it is uh, the collectively, yes, it becomes a very powerful force, but it is that single individual that takes their step and hopefully others would follow. 
And I think uh, I've been lucky enough that that is what has happened in my village now where I currently live and I identify with in spite of being an Afghan American. But today I'm a Pakistani, also a very proud Pakistani. And I really enjoy uh, doing what I'm doing. And hopefully I do have a little plan for myself in future that uh, I will be writing my third book, uh, hopefully. Um, but this is my first time I'm actually committing to it. But uh, yes, I've been thinking that my own little um, uh, events of political uh, interactions with some of the leaderships around the world, actually, uh, I'll be writing that. And uh, the other thing is that I, I know most likely I will be retiring in my village, hopefully very soon, where, where I'm looking forward to uh, being more available more than ever hope oh, and uh, it's always this is all hope a plan for future but what he does is another uh, question all uh, by itself and then uh, focusing on my agriculture uh, planting more trees making my contribution to this world to this beautiful universe and I Definitely do not consider myself one uh, citizen of one country. I wish there was a passport for everybody that would be universal, a universal passport. But uh, unfortunately, there is no such a thing. But I think I'm citizen of this universe. And I would like to have my share and be remembered in a very positive and a better way that I've had my little contribution. I'm, I, I know I'm not going to be able to change the world, but I can change my little world for the better, for the improvement, and hopefully for the, you know, a little more positive future. Mm -hmm.